Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and we got the shade room in the house today. Yes, and we got Bobby Brown in concert with New Edition. They still on the culture tr- the culture tour, I guess. But, honey, they had Bobby Brown up there doing a running man. And, of course, you know he's a little heavy at this time, but I ain't mad at him. He gonna make it do what it do. He was trying to do the running man job. And... <laughs> he did like maybe two sets and he said fuck this i ain't finna do this let the background people um complete the session because shoot whoo i'm blowing wind over here i am blowing wind <laughs> that was so funny bobby brown was he was a dancing ass in his heyday but along with medical conditions along with age along with hey <laughs> he's just glad to be seen on tour and he'll give y'all a little something something but other than that he ain't gonna be bothered he ain't gonna be bothered with no fast dancing or none of that that's why the other cats are there and johnny gill he pretty much in the same boat but child my daughter sent me this um little a snippet of Bobby Brown trying to get down <laughs> and looking like Charlie Brown. I said, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh. Bobby said, nope, nope, can't do it, can't do it. I ain't finna give myself another heart attack. But I'm trying to find it. Let me see. It was fun as hell, y'all. But y'all go to the shade room and y'all will get the video that I'm talking about. But I will play it for you all. Uh-uh, I'm about to say, hell no, I ain't gonna do it no more, I get too sick, that's it, that's it, I'll get back to singing, <laughs> but he was doing that running man, y'all know Bobby could dance, but Bobby was like, no way, no how, no lord, no son of God, I can't do it no more, I can't do it like I used to put it down, okay, because even when he doing a hunching thing, it's like he just hunching a little bit too fast. And it look like he just need his oxygen tank. Like, forget that. I can't do it. He reminds me of Fred Sanford, really. <laughs> like, he still has the will to do it. He has the mind to do it. But his body is saying, uh-uh. And everybody know how to do the running, man. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. And you will see it in action. But go to the shade room, people. Go to the shade room. And check Mr. Bobby Brown out doing his set on the new edition tour, the culture tour. And you're going to see, he's going to be like, go Bobby. He's going to be pushing, pushing, pushing. Go Bobby, push, push, push. And he'll stop. <laughs> he said, uh-uh. No matter what your friends try to tell you, we were made to fall in love. We'll always be together in a kind of weather. It's like that. It's like that girl. Yeah, I I said, go on, Bobby. He didn't get that long with the record. I mean, with the uh, singing either. But, hey, it just is what it is. You're just glad to see the brother out there trying to make it do what it do. Trying to bring laughter. Trying to be there with the other five cats and stuff. And, hey, I liked it. I did. Because everybody know Bobby Brown. Oh, everybody know Bobby Brown's struggles and his loss. And what he's dealing with. So, and if he just get up there and do a little something, something, be like, okay, that's it. I showed y'all I still got the move, but I can't keep uh, I can't keep up with the eight count. <laughs> Cause right now I need a chair and I need my oxygen tank. Can somebody help me, please? Please help me, please. Okay. But I was I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that little snippet. But uh he also has a TV show on um A and E. He did the documentary, or he did the docu series, but he has a show called Every Little Step. Uh, Every Little Step, I think that's what it's called. 
um, and it's really surrounded around his kids that he had with um, uh, what's her name, Alicia, and then I don't know where the other mama come from that had Landon, and Landon ain't. <laughs> He ain't too much of it. He ain't doing shit in my book when I was looking at the show. Carla, like, what is he doing? Because he had me to believe or how they were playing his character uh, or him playing his part, I should say, because it wasn't no fictitious thing. It was like an autobiography to what they're living in their true lives and stuff like that. But he been dating somebody for 16 years and got two kids by the, by the woman. I'm like, man, Elaine, if you don't sit your head down somewhere. He kind of like remind me of P. Diddy. You know what I'm saying? He's fruity somewhere in that package of him living life. Because I'm like, the lady's pretty. Uh, he has two gorgeous daughters. Look like one of them is a teenager and the other one's like a little rug rat. You know what I'm saying? A uh, little person. But well, probably maybe in the early part of elementary or whatnot. <laughs> and um, it was just like. You need to sit yourself down because I'm, I'm going to say he can sing. He has the will to sing, but the vocals are not really there. And like I said, go over there to A&E and uh, see what I'm talking about. Every little step, Google it or, or however you find it on the computer and watch it. And y'all see what I'm saying about, you know, landing and where he coming from. I like, I like, oh, he just seems like. He was, I don't know, displaced as a child. Because I'm still trying to find out who his mama was. And, I, you know, out of the episodes that I did see, it never crossed over to his life or who Bobby was messing with that got, gave him the child landing. And um, La Princia, we know she was from another uh, parent as well, another mother. But she wasn't involved in this docuseries. And... Uh, just uh i think every little step i didn't see her in the episodes that i did see that were unlocked for us to preview so yes bobby brown is cutting up even in his heyday <laughs> he is i mean i like the whole uh every little step i take episodes a sitcom show they gave him i think they gave him like 12 uh episodes and i think we saw up to maybe eight that were a uh, preview for us to see I don't know how you unlock it. My daughter is trying to figure that out for me. But I mean, I can wait till next weekend to see it. Because we've been watching a lot of Netflix this weekend. <coughs> and I said, oh, I need to give me some time to my channel. Oh, God, I need to come over here and talk to my other YouTube family. Well, that's my biological family, but y'all are my YouTube family. Same thing, just different wording. And we don't get to see each other. But we get to talk to each other in the comment section. But, uh, yes, y'all go over there. Y'all will get y'all kiki, y'all ha-has. I couldn't embed it into my uh, video because that would be like copyright infringement uh, to take somebody's stuff. But, you know, they do it to YouTubers all the time. I know when I was doing um, soap operas when I first started my show, it was somebody taking my videos, child, and putting them up. I was like, what kind of mess is this? Wrote YouTube about it. They ain't do shit. Oh, so they more for themselves and, you know, we just take what they give us if we want to have a platform on YouTube. It's not really fair towards the smaller YouTube channels or the um, YouTube family at all. You know, they're going to make their rules and regulations and it's more geared to the ones that have the higher, higher numbers. I'm talking about like hundred thousands or millions of views or subscribers, but it, you just have to kind of like get to 10 12 thousand before they really kind of take you serious somewhat but you're still not there and if you do a lot of collaborating with other youtube uh uh content creators and being on a panel that would kind of gather you a lot some more subscribers as well because you're on a format with other people and it's almost like sub for sub you sub me i sub you type of uh, stuff and then some people still don't sell if they don't feel your content so it's just pretty much is what it is but y'all i had to bring y'all there i was like huh, bobby you know is my favorite or if y'all didn't know he is my favorite then we got um who else we got uh i kind of like ricky and then i like uh ronnie devoe uh then you probably would have it's like a tie between Johnny Gill and Ralph. And then you would have Mike. 
<coughs> but uh yeah child <laughs> bobby brown can't do no wrong in my book he must be eating good uh because he's like me he struggled with weight loss we like to eat we don't overeat but it just seems like what our body do to the food we do consume it just holds on to it and he like me i don't like to exercise we have the resources you know i have a look like a little baby gym in my house and i'd be like oh child that exercise just hurt me honey it hurt my whole body i don't feel refreshed <laughs> Now, I do feel refreshed when I'm drinking a lot of water and I cut out my sodas. I can tell a difference, and that's the way I'm going to have to start. Uh, and maybe it'll be easier on um, but I ain't going to lie. Even if I was thinner, I still wouldn't want to exercise. I hate exercise. I hated exercising my whole life. And I was thin from conception up to about maybe 28, 29, something like that. And then I start gaining weight that wouldn't come off. Ooh, but honey, that's all I have for this video, guys. Like and love, gotta have more. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share, like, and comment. And I will definitely comment to you all when I find the time I can do it. Because sometimes I like to talk back to you all. But if not, um, I definitely give little hearts and check marks. Like, I hear you, I saw you, and you made me laugh, okay? But I'll see y'all next video, guys. Bye-bye.